going on everybody how you doing how you feeling it's ryan brooks i'm gonna show you guys and compare a ps2 emulator pc sx2 uh, versions 1.4 1.6 i'm going to compare them a little bit and i'm going to show you how to have true crime streets of la a magnificent game work on 1.6 i tried on 1.4 it wasn't really working for me i just had to update and now on 1.6 i was able now to have true crime streets of la work and it's amazing it's an amazing memory for me it's amazing it's honestly godlike all right so let's get right into it so basically you guys want to now have the latest version of pcs x2 and uh for me right now at this time is 1.6 one of guys uh also i'll show you guys uh this part right here and this will be a link down in the description go to whatever os that you have and download the latest version of pcs x2 for me is 1.6 so for me i'm on windows and go to the standalone downloader standalone installer and download uh, this part right here i haven't messed with the windows binary but just go to the standalone installer and download it so for me i already downloaded it and it's all together uh what you'll go through and i'll kind of i'll kind of just mimic what you guys will go through and i'll compare each one um i think i have it let me open up another one another file explorer all right so over here and i have it over here uh for me i did portable but uh you should you usually want to do normal by the portable all right and then you go to next and then you go to where you want to put it and then for me i put it in my uh my d my d drive once you put in your d drive you'll now be able to go through the whole setup once you open it for the first time you'll see that you can put in your bios and all that and possibly I won't have a BIOS download, but if there is, just check the description and then you'll be able now to download. I have my own BIOS uh, right over here and then it just shows everything. Yeah, it, this is everything right here. Everything that you need for your emulator to work for uh, the PS2 or for this uh, specific emulator. So once I, once I have that, I wanna, yeah, I wanna do some comparing. So for me, when I went to video plugins and settings, I had a different setup with the settings, right? And then this is going to tie into True Crime Sheets of LA. I had a different kind of thing over here. The same type of stuff, but a little bit less of uh, the options. If I come over here and I go to the same, same path, image is different obviously but i have a few more options or different options where it's more compatible with most of the games that you can play on ps2 when i do the same settings on here for the 1.4 and i'll do the same settings for the 1.6 the on the 1.4 it didn't even work a like, true crime sheets of la did not work when i did the same settings or exact settings to say or the 1.6 version, it freaking worked. <laughs> it worked and it was amazing playing the game. I'm gonna do a new save actually for you guys. So that's at least gonna be five minutes towards the end of the video. If you guys wanna skip ahead, it's like the last five or seven minutes. You're gonna see me playing True Crash Streets of LA. But let's test, now uh, let's just test. And then actually, let me go to where you put the BIOS. So let me close this. And then just let me close this. Once you have that link, it will be a WinRAR via 7-zip. It doesn't matter which one you use, WinRAR 7-zip, just have an extractor. You have all these files all together, and then you just want to copy and paste it. Uh, let's say you're, you're, you're trying to deal with the 1.4. You go to 1.4, you go to BIOS, you copy and paste it here, all right? And then you go to 1.6, you just paste it in here doesn't really matter which one you use, but if you want True Crime Streets, Streets of LA to, uh, to work, you want to use a 1.6 version of uh, the PCX X2 PS2 emulator, which is magnificent. So let's test this game and I'll do this real quick. I'll just copy and paste 
the true crime streets of la game and i have my games all in the the master folder for this one the subfolder i'll just copy and paste it i don't think i need to but um i'll do it anyway copy paste all right cool then i'll probably skip ahead i don't think i need to do this at all i'll just leave it though no big deal but when you have different versions of the ps2 you're going to have different memory cards you could just copy the storage from your old version to the new version but i just choose not to because i mainly just want to start over and i have so many other things to do i just choose not to really care about the little things you know i play the actual ps2 i play the actual ps1 i play the actual xbox 360 and all the little things i used to care about i just don't care no more I got more fun things to do. Ah, so let's play. Uh, I'm going to keep this up here. Let's do uh, 1.4. Any controller works. Doesn't really matter. Um, one thing, too, before I start, you guys want to make sure. And I, yeah, I'll actually go through the settings on both. You guys want to make sure you have your GS on. So look at the the very end of each one inside of the brackets you want to have the gsd x32 dash avx2 and i'll have it down in the description too if you guys are blind all right you guys want to have this on the rest don't really matter just make sure you have uh lily pad on here i just choose not to um because this uh, like this is just your controller it doesn't really matter with the graphics and the audio then everything else doesn't matter because they're all um, default settings. All right, so yeah, that's good. And for the settings, you guys want to make sure you are on the adapter. Doesn't matter. I usually have it on uh, default. Uh, the renderer have it on OpenGL hardware. Um, don't have allow 8-bit textures at all. So I'm just going off of this because it's not exactly what you need to have true crime. I'm just saying to say if it works for you, but it probably won't have it on custom. But on the other other one, I have it on 3x native. You guys can test it out like that. Custom, it just gives you the ability to like customize the resolution. Uh, texture filtering on PS2, 4x for any soap traffic filtering, whatever. Let me know how to say that in the comments. You want to have partial OpenGL recommended. And everything else is good. Non for fastest. We'll have these on. Um, say if like your game is mirroring or there's like a, uh, a rebuttal in the audio. Oh, no, sorry, not the audio. In the rebuttal in the video, you want to allow this and configure. It's going to look different on the other one. I'll show you in a little bit. You guys just want to mess with that. Let me go back. You guys just want to mess with this. All this different stuff you guys want to be able to do. Uh, just like like hacks, quote unquote, to take away like a ghosting effect, like different issues you'll have with the video. Just X that out and I'll take that. Um, Yeah, everything else is good. This is by default. All right, you could change that, but with a certain setting. So we're going to try uh i'm gonna browse first yeah i'm pretty sure i didn't need to copy it but whatever i just wanted to talk a little bit more let's try it out on 1.4 pc sx2 i was going fast try it out here it was smooth right now amazing intro so far I got a full the resolution really doesn't matter it's really about the settings you have for your adapter and your other stuff have images of like people walking images of buildings and cars and a panning effect going across all of that doesn't work at all and it's spazzing out on me right now as you can see so let's just get out of this i'm just gonna keep it close i'm not gonna 
re go. I'm not. I'm not gonna rebuttal on everything because you guys can just rewind. So let's deal with the baby. The latest update: 1.6 TCS X2. Let's come over here. All right. So you want to go to video, plugin settings. This is exactly how you should have it. All right. So the way you should have it is OpenGL hardware, right? Nothing in adapter, non interlacing texture filtering on PS2. It just uh, a few more things. It's the same amount of stuff. Just uh, two or three, three things added. Uh, allow 8 bit, leave that off. Large frame buffer 3x for 1080p. You guys can change this. It's really for the resolution. So for me, this will work exactly. Let's just do custom resolution. Um, I'm do, do like this 720. It might look weird, but it's okay. I should have went to the. I should have looked at the 1024. Yeah, let's do 1024. Want to add 4x? If it looks super weird, I'll go back to the 3x native. So then the M. Uh, what is that? MIP MIP mapping. Well, no, full full me slow for this. All right, partial open GL for the CRC hack level. Day accuracy full on slow. Blending accuracy medium and then save uh, yeah all the issues uh, the ghosting mirroring uh, Looping goes on you can enable and then you have a few more hacks actually a bunch more hacks from what it looks like and uh, Yeah, you just have different stuff for the type of renderer that you have I'm just gonna leave this off because you don't really need it because it's gonna work all right, so let's press OK. It's exactly like this, except for the custom. I mean, except for the internal resolution. You just want that on 3x native. But I'm gonna try something out. All right, and then emulation. I didn't show it from before, but it was on those settings. For the emulation settings, the micro VU um, recoupler or compiler. You want it on the V a uh, VU zero VU one. And then you want the most important part. You want this on nearest with the round mode. You want this on nearest. All right. And then this is for your VUs for your EE and IOP, uh, recompiler, recompiler. And then you want to be able now to have your nearest on round mode for a EE. So it's all nearest for your EE and the VU. This really doesn't matter. I've been dealt with it. This doesn't matter. Keep this on normal and game fixes. So for Windows and for Mac, for memory, you guys just go to the top left. You go to your system preferences and you look at your components. You look at your graphics and see what you have for your, you know, your system information. Um, this is an extra button, but I'm not on Mac right now. I'm on Windows. For for Windows, you guys want to look at your system information. You guys can, can just look up where to find your system information on Linux, on Mac, on Windows, I'm showing you on Windows right now. Your system is from information is here. You look at your processor, you look at your memory, you look at all the stuff right here that you need to say, if I say, if you want to do speed hack, you want to be able now to have at least three cores or more for the MTV you, uh, you know, setting right here. Game fixes. This is just like, um, different stuff that had like extra stuff that say like it was like ghosting or whatever it's similar to that um, for like different issues so you want to be able not to know your computer obviously you want to be able now to have the ability to recognize your computer and then you want to now go and then say if you don't know uh, just use the presets and then just go off of like say like the two the safest right or like the safest is like no hacks at all. And then you want to go to balance, aggressive, very aggressive, so on and so forth. Right. So I'm going to put it back on safe. Make sure everything is right where it should be. So for me, I'm putting this back on nearest with a round mode and putting this back on nearest. Everything else should be good. And then I just hit apply anyway. But when you click OK, it should apply at the same time, closing it like that. 
And then, uh, you know, everything else you want to go through, just go through it. You know, look up how to do it. I suggest you guys use the wiki um, for any more information that you want on the 1.6 uh, PS2 emulators and 1.4. Just go over the stats. Just read, you know, go over the wikis. I gave you the link for the download. <laughs> I gave you the link for the bios. Like, it's time for you to do the extra research for your specific computer your specific type of environment that you want because not every single computer is the same not every single even if the same components you gotta still know your computer all right so let's test this out we tested it out on 1.4 we're going to test out the 1.6 version pcs x2 let's play at least like at least five minutes to almost 10 minutes and uh i just want to save my game and be able to show you guys that it works perfectly. So let's go into it. That's exactly what you need. The only thing is just say like the 3x native. But uh, let's just go into it fast. I have my. I don't see why and how much is it. So it's a little bit flickering. It's kind of like that movie look from the 70s and 80s when you drive in, you see a movie, and then it just keeps fucking moving and shit. That's the shit on my screen right now. So. But uh, it looks magnificent. All right, so yeah, I want you guys to hear the whole thing. I don't want the music in. I don't want to deal with copyright and all that stuff. So, so basically, yeah, you guys see everything that's involved in the main menu. Let's go ahead and play the game for a little bit. All right, so memory card is on formatting. Formatting memory card. Yep. So I love how in the game they have a written script to format your memory card for you. That is crazy. That is unscripted right there. But right there, they have a script in there. Whoever their programmer was, yo, they are on point. I'm telling you, because I didn't have to do anything. It made the memory card for me. Amazing. So let's do oh shit. I made so many names. I played this game so much. You don't realize. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, bro. I'm like, yo, I'm not supposed to take too long. I'm not too long. I'm okay. I can't put the whole thing. And save. I'll see this though. I'll see this. Oh, come on now. I just want to be able to save. I'm end. I'm over, but I'm not over until the point that I'm over. I'm over the essentials in the middle of the video. I just want to see this game. I'm gonna end the video. They call it the city of angels. Fight. In my 30 years here, I haven't seen a single one. So, my old friend Henry Wilson used to say, people dare to dream here. I like that. I like that. So, also, oh, on the site itself, the official site, it did say it's Maybe playable. I was right. It didn't say it was Nobody perfect. Nobody knows what happened to Henry. I'm sure I knew how to play the game. Ago, but whatever this it ain't was, perfect. he didn't deserve it. There's some it. glitches here and well, there, but hey. I ain't walking the beat no more. It's, it's smooth. New like, if you guys try from older versions from different the different settings. Guys, the crux. It won't even psychopaths. work. Like it freezes in a matter of five to seven seconds. Is one this ain't freezing. I hear he's a hell of a cop. Oh but will man, you to see the sunset. Me right now. I don't know. So I was, oh, yeah, I was, going I was saying like from the menu, it will freeze in five to seven seconds, and yeah, just glitches, but you just have to realize that it's playable. It's not perfect, and you actually able to play the game Finger bashing game. OG game. Realize this OG shit. It's not even trying to buy some bullshit right now. So let me write a little bit. Bruh. This is look, this is just me not knowing the shows, so hold on. Bruh. Okay, LA. Here I come. 
there you see all this you'll Come have on. to either Somebody mess with me out of traffic okay so <laughs> you have to either mess with the um let's pause it pay attention to your log too it can tell you something that you can probably fix a lot of stuff possibly you guys don't understand i understand most of it you can fix it mid-game but some settings you do have to restart the game probably have to look at the enable hw hacks and then be able now to change anything and everything that you need to have the game perfect like it was on the og ps2 thank you for watching let me go over exactly what to do and then just um rewind the video because um this is just the settings that i got off of like you know different attempts and different ideas so let me open up my 1.6 let me do config video and plugin settings this is the essentials that you need but definitely the uh, other stuff i showed in a little bit so open gl hardware non for interlacing and ps2 for texture filtering don't have uh, a bit and make sure your large frame buffer is on uh, I, I would just do the 3x from so from 3x native to custom i didn't see a difference probably because um i didn't really changed anything possibly but let me know have this on 4x the mid mapping full for slow partial open gl for crc full slow and i'll have everything down in the description i'll have everything for you to just like have to read and sit there in a description box so yeah full for slow for date accuracy blending accuracy medium and uh yeah definitely work out some hacks you know if the game is like that you don't like it like that try some hacks out then that's good if you guys go to emulation settings make sure the recompiler is on this for your v views and nearest for the round mode the e -E i o p have it on nearest recompile it here then everything else really doesn't matter because i haven't really dealt with it and the game runs smoothly you guys can check it out for yourselves if you don't know your stuff look up how to look up your stuff or just use the presets you should be a-okay go to plugin bio selector make sure you're on this one and this is the the most recent one on the other version you'll have to pick it but this is the one that's default so just look all the way to the right and i'll have it down in the description the gsd x 32 dash a v x 2 is the one you want toggled on configure all that stuff you guys need to blah 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 right and then you can hit configure and just do the same stuff so yeah just learn what you're using basically and you should be all right the bios i'll have down in the description folders i haven't messed with this is a like cheese saves all that stuff but yeah definitely uh yeah if you guys enjoyed it definitely hit the subscribe button have everything on notifications on everything all together and that is really it as far as having true crime streets of a la work on the latest version of today's uh pcs x2 which is 1.6 it works on this version because you're able not to have different settings in a video and be able now to have more detailed settings for all types of games and then the game i chose is true crime streets of la works perfectly fine i'll have to deal with some hacks or just deal with the fact that it's not perfect but it is playable according to the official site of the ps2 emulators well to pcs x2 P ps2 emulator and yeah that's really it if you guys don't understand anything that i just did rewind the video that's one of the capabilities of a video you're able to stop it rewind and look at stuff that you didn't understand or keep looping in a certain section so you know learn what you're using and yeah if you guys have any more questions definitely let me know down in the comments let me know social media all that good stuff but mostly in the comments <laughs> don't spam me randomly about some video four months ago all right thank you for watching and peace out